I am the 13th Wolfman. The people over at Diamond Select Toys were nice enough to send over this. It is the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Okay. Let's open this puppy up and see what it comes with. Okay. Put the box over there. This is based off of the the 1921 silent film with uh, Lon Chaney Sr. in the role of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. First thing comes with this really cool looking, let's try to get, there we go. It's really cool looking gargoyle. And as you can see it's got pins back here. There's usually like a hole in one of the, sh one of the feet or both of the feet sometimes so that they could stand on stuff like this and that's where the next is Quasimodo himself there we go alright that's a cool looking cape it oh hold on a second the cape comes off there you go it just slides off his shoulders look at that the cape is um, his his highness's royal cape for when he when he's considered the king comes with the crown too. Uh, this is a nice crown. When in when they call him the the king of fools, and he's got a cape, he's got a crown. And he's got a scepter, which is a little bit tough to get out with your hands full. There we go. And there he is. And in, in all his highness's glory, he's got a scepter in hand. He's got his crown on. Let's see if we can get him to stand on the base. <clears throat> uh, we'll go with this leg here. It has the, I think it's like 16 points of articulation. That's a better hand. There you go. There we go. In all his glory. Quasimodo. Ha! Caught it. But, uh, it's probably better if this is sitting on a level thing and not floating around in the air. But, uh, let's take a look at this. This is nice. Let's start with the, the, the gargoyle. It's a nice solid plastic. It, um, it's it's well it's a well stout base I'll say that like I said you put this on something level and you put him on there the the holes in the feet are where the pegs go now on to Quasimodo this is an amazing looking Quasimodo this looks just like Lon Chaney senior in the movie it's actually one of my favorite silent films um, take the cape off Take the crown off. Pull the scepter. I mean, look at the detail in that face. I know a lot of people think, well, just a second. He looks like the he he looks like the <clears throat> the Quasimodo from the Disney film. Well, of course he does because they pretty much based their uh, their look off of off of the classic silent film. Again, this is a great, great looking. I mean, you got the fleur de lis, 
printed on the cape. It just looks amazing. You can see the hair on his hands. He doesn't really, I mean, unlike some of the other ones, he does stand up. You can get him to, but you got to remember, he's a hunchback, so he's not supposed to be completely, you know, stretched up. Uh, the hunch is there, you can see, clearly. I, I, I would give this easily. This is, yeah, this is a four chainsaw. This this is definitely a four chainsaw toy. I mean, they did a really good job with the detail, and I like the fact that that this is kind of flexible. So if you want to get his leg up there, you know, it's it's not going to hold it back. Um, the legs move. Just showed that one, and that one bends at the knee also, which is nice. And uh, they twist, the foot twists this way and twists this way, and this foot is more, more like that. And then, you know, you got the bending at the elbow. His hand, his hand does move, it's got a wrist on it. That's nice. This is well, well done. Like I said, I give this, it's a, it's a four chainsaw toy. I'll leave the link below to uh, Diamond Select. You guys can go out over there, check them out. Check out their Facebook page as well. Um, I'm the 13th Wolfman. I'm on the prowl.